Every experience in life helps you focus a little bit more on what you want to do in life. I already knew what I would ultimately like to do, which is to fly in space. I wasn't sure that was a, a possible reality at the time, um, but I did know that I was very interested in math, and very interested in science, and that if I could ever make that work so that I could you know, ultimately get to NASA and fly in the space program, that's what I wanted to do. I think that at Missouri Southern, I was able to work with people who cared about me as an individual and to, you know, that cared about other students as individuals and helped us succeed in our academic goals. And that's not common for all schools. A lot of schools are so large that you never actually even speak to a professor. You always speak to the you know, teaching assistants. Um, but at Southern, there was always that personal connection that we had with professors, which helped us really to uh, get to know the material better to help us understand the concepts at a deeper level, which made us appreciate the sciences and the math or whatever it was that we were studying. And that's what I remember you know, taking from me as I left going forward, as I always had that kind of a baseline of what my expectations were for caring about other people, caring about their successes. And I still try to use that model today, even in my current job, uh, to try to relate to people individually, to try to see what their goals are in life, and I think part of that stemmed from my time at Southern. NASA Glenn Research Center is one of 10 NASA centers across the country, and we are one of four research centers. And so that entails doing a lot of the basic research that enables spaceflight and aeronautics to happen. And being the center director, we just try to enable all these really intelligent people to do this really creative work that enables us to do the, the groundbreaking things that NASA is known for. I've always wanted to work for this agency. It has been a goal since I was a child. Uh, I, of course, wanted to fly in space, so that was goal number one, and I was able to do that three times. So that was like the ultimate experience any human being could have, in my opinion. So I'm very fortunate to have done that. And then kind of went into the management side of helping others uh, be able to explore space and have that experience, help build a space station. Uh, help with the training program, help with the flight operations aspect of the used aircraft to train, help train astronauts. And then coming here was the opportunity to lead it even a, a center level and then do some more of the basic research, which kind of gets back to my science background and the, the basic research that I did as a, an undergraduate and a graduate student. Yeah, going into space to me is a, the privilege of a lifetime. Of course, People who get to do that work pretty hard to get there. It's a very competitive process. So first of all, you just can't believe you were the one chosen. That was just an unbelievable experience and to know that you were so well prepared. Uh, but to be up there and, and experience all the things that you studied in science and physics class, and you can see how beautiful the planet is. It's just breathtaking to see things that you can't see from, you know, five miles up or seven miles up, but from 200 plus miles up, it's very easy to see these different kinds of perspectives of the planet. And that's what's harder to express and to, you just wish people could see it and then they would understand <laughs> both the beauty of the planet and the fragility of the planet at the same time.